if reading isn't really your thing, is there anything that you think that could make you um, at least try to make reading part of your life? <laughs> This is a, um, not really a wrap up. This is just kind of a conclusion. So um, I am sitting down to edit some of the footage that I've gathered over the past week. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's Margie. Um, so this is all new to me, so I'm still figuring it out. But my plan is to um, gather footage a week at a time for the different vlogs that I'm going to be doing. So even though I'm concluding this video, I'm not going to stop reading for the month of January. The idea is that when I get ready to start recording footage for my next reading vlog, I'll, I'll give you like a wrap up of what happened before. But this is just where I'm going to kind of stop recording for this week for this particular vlog, which is the reading vlog. The next blog that I'll be focusing on will be the writing blog. Um, I'm going to be capturing footage, which I've been for um, kind of a lifestyle or update, you know, blog or whatever. And then I'll, I'm going to be doing some food blogs. Um, some of them might be like recipes or whatever. But anyway, I'm capturing all of this footage. But like I said, I'm kind of doing it like a week at a time. Anyway, so like I said, I am not finished reading for the month, but um, uh, I am still, you know, in progress. Okay, so I am on mid-afternoon, well, mid-morning walk with Margie. And um, so this is part of my reading vlog. I um, have a earbud in my ear right now. And my Kindle is strapped, not really strapped, it's in a pocket. <laughs> but, um, so when I'm walking her, a lot of times I will use the text to speech feature to, um, you know, just get in some additional word count during that time. I don't do it all the time. Sometimes I just walk her and spend time with her, but sometimes it's good to, you know, listen to a book while. I'm, you know, walking her. And so this is basically, I'm reading the book, but when I'm walking her, I can't read and walk her. So I use the text-to-speech feature. So enough about that. Um, I'll show you a little bit more of her walk and then we'll get on with the rest of the vlog later. just passed Dixie, Lola, and the twins. Um, so Dixie and Lola and the twins are all German Shepherds. Dixie lives at one house, Lola lives at one house, and the twins live at one house. And so whenever we pass them, I always have to stop what I'm listening to because I can't hear it because of all of their barking anyway. But I thought this would be a good point to backtrack and explain. Uh-oh, here comes another dog been a busy day so anyway I am um, currently reading the third book in the invisible library series of course I can't remember the title of this particular installment right now I um, may have to add it later but uh, so that's what I'm um, listening to right now as I'm trying to walk Margie past all of the neighborhood dogs and I think I'm finally at a point where I can Turn it back on. We are almost home. So this part of our walk is just about over anyway. So just want to give you that update. Yeah, here we go. either starting or continuing my reading vlog depending upon how this gets edited so 
Um, I did want to, like I said, this is obviously not in order. So I just wanted to call back to maybe something I mentioned earlier, or maybe not. <laughs> what I'm currently reading, um, I went back and realized what I'm listen reading and listening to on my um, Kindle right now is The Burning Page, which is the third book in the um, Invisible Library series. So right now, um, if I want, I could just, you know, sit and read some of it. Um, with, I'm, I'm about to put, I got my YouTube up, I'm about to play some um, jazz music in the background. But um, I'm also starting something else. I'm usually reading one or two books at a time. I try not to overdo it. Um, but one of the things that I got for myself, I guess, for the holiday was a graphic novel. And it's called Sensory Life on the Spectrum. And um, if any of you, you know, follow me enough to know what my day job is, I do work with kids on the spectrum and other um, diagnoses. So anyway, I thought this would be a really cool um, thing. So I'm just going to, like I said, turn on some jazz and um, do a little bit of uh, reading. perspectives I love the different art forms you know the different way people you know draw um, you know the different you know strokes the, the type of characters the colors different things like that so um, this one I am going to slow down because I'm <laughs> flying through it and I, I want to savor it so I think what I'm gonna do is limit myself to just reading two or three of them a day because there's so many some of them are longer some of them are shorter so that'll affect it but I don't want to just fly through it right now because I could totally do that so I'm going to put that aside and I'm going to pick up um, what I was reading before so typically um, when I read um, I am very short on time um, trying to find time to read time to trying to find time to write um, trying to find time to cook, which that'll be another vlog altogether. Um, so I usually will sit down and set a timer. If all I have is five minutes, I'll set that timer for five minutes. Most of the time, I try to set a timer for 15 or 20 minutes and just read for that amount of time. And then, like I said, I do supplement um, my reading with um, going on walks with my dog. I'll listen to it instead of you know, reading the text. And um, at some point, you'll probably see in a future vlog where I will have, I'll be listening while I'm like doing the dishes or cooking or something like that. Just finding different ways to get those word counts in. But for now, I am just going to um, just just read because I, I have the time. It's, it's a weekend, so I usually have time to just read on the weekends. But during the work week, a lot of it is just going to me be me, you know, getting in a few pages of whatever, you know, visual or text I'm reading and then listening when I'm doing other things. So I'm going to spend a few minutes just, you know, reading.
in the kitchen just kind of doing some stuff. Um, refilling my um, salt shaker. I just did my pepper. I've got some other little things to do around the kitchen. So um, in order to multitask and get in some more word count, I'm going to be using that text-to-speech feature to finish reading some more of the burning page. Here it goes. And Especially for these vlogs I'm doing it during the work week and on the weekends that's where I hope to devote all of my writing time so when I do my writing vlog that'll be on the weekend with that said yesterday I was slam packed and I hardly got any reading in all day and so right at the end of the day I was having trouble sleeping so I like just went through a whole bunch of chapters of the burning page and then I did a little bit of my devotion. Now, normally when I'm doing these reading blogs, my I don't count my devotion in that. I do that every day, every morning. But sometimes if I'm having trouble sleeping at night, I'll also do a little bit of it at night. But it's mostly something that I get up and I do first thing in the morning. So I'm not counting that because I would be reading that whether I was reading other stuff or not. So today I think I am going to be finishing the burning page. If I can get in any pages tonight, I'm so close to the end, which means I'll have to pick up something else. And I'm still reading the sensory graphic novel. Um, again, I'm intentionally not reading that too quickly and um, just kind of pacing myself with that. So hopefully I'll have more to share in the next update. So it's a work day and I'm excited to be getting some reading in. Um, I actually, um, I, I, trying to explain what I do is crazy. I work from home, but I also work out in the field. I do trainings, all this stuff anyway. So I did a little bit of work this morning and I had a cancellation, which um, cancellations are a bummer. However, it frees me up to do some reading before I go to my next appointment. So here we go. Again, I'm slowing myself down with the sensory graphic novel. It, I, every time I sit down to read the pages, I just want to go through all of them so quickly. They're all so impactful, the different art styles, the way people express them. So the crazy thing about it is as much, I mean, I love all of them, but I find the ones that are in black and white for some reason are the ones I think that really kind of punch me in the face. Um, I just read one that was very like bright and colorful and had like a lot of pink in it 
and it's um it's the first one that hasn't been black and white that i feel like had the same impact but anyway regardless um i'm just so delighted by this book because this isn't someone trying to explain autism to other people these are artists who happen to be on the spectrum telling their own stories in a visual way and anyway so i think i am going to um finish up as much as i can of the burning page um i thought i was going to get to read more of it last night but um i wasn't feeling so well after dinner and it just didn't happen um 99 through like i can literally see like the end so i'm gonna wrap this up and then decide what i'm gonna start reading next so um let's do that finished the burning page just like I thought I would. Um, I do believe I have the next book in the series. Um, actually, I'm not really sure if I do. I know I have other books in the series, but I don't know if I have the fourth book in the series. So I may have to look back, but um, even if I did, I wouldn't want to start it right away. Um, I, I think I want to, you know, start something else. I have so many things to choose from. It's difficult. Um, one of the things that I started doing last year was because I interview so many different authors. I've been trying to read books by the different authors that um, I interview on top of the other stuff. But whatever it is I choose to read, it's going to have to be something that I'm like genuinely interested in reading. I'm not just going to pick something out of like obligation. So with that, um, I may have to come back later to decide what I'm reading next. Um, I do actually have a digital graphic novel on here that I've been interested in trying. So maybe I might be reading two graphic novels right now. This one, I don't even remember when I picked it up, but it is called the Tree Dragon Society. And I'm assuming it's gonna be full of whimsy and magic and just silliness. Um, I love tea, I love dragons. So um, I think the Tea Dragon Society is it. That is what I'm gonna start reading next. So we'll see how it goes. Whew. Alrighty guys, it is very cold today. Margie and I are on a morning walk because I have to go into the office early today. I feel like I dropped something. Maybe I didn't. Um, so this will probably be one of my last posts for this reading vlog. Um, what I'm basically doing is I'm only tracking my reading is for, for the vlogs um, one week out of the month. And then the next month when I post the next vlog, you know, I'll do like a wrap up there. But basically, um, I'm reading the two graphic novels. I'm trying to pace myself, but the second one is way shorter than I was thinking. <laughs> so I went ahead and started another book. And um, this one is actually um, nonfiction. It's, it's Christian. It's um, 10 Women of the Bible. Um, I actually got this book last year, but I just wasn't in the right mindset for it. And I think I'm ready for it now. So I'll be 
reading that along with the two graphic novels. And so, like I said, I think this is going to be my last, um, like, vlog post. Well, no. I think I'll probably sit at my desk and do, like, a wrap-up video for it. But, um, next vlog that I'll be working on will be my writing vlog. So, it's very cold outside because Margie's wearing her sweater. <laughs> I'll show you a little bit of her before I wrap this up. of right now I am um, still finishing up the two graphic novels one I'm probably gonna finish either today or tomorrow because I didn't realize how short it was that's the thing when you get a digital graphic novel you don't know how long it is <laughs> but I'm I'm purposefully pacing myself on this sensory graphic novel um, I think it's the tea dragon one that I'm like almost finished because I didn't realize how short it was and then I started um, 10 Women of the Bible. That one's by Max Licato. So um, anyway, that's the only thing that I'm currently looking as far as, you know, what I'm reading. I don't see myself right now adding more to that because if I continue to pace myself with the graphic novel, the sensory one, and I focus on reading the 10 Women of the Bible, um, that will probably be enough to get me through the month especially because as the month progresses, I'm going to be busier and busier with work. So um, I don't want to set expectations too high to where I feel overwhelmed. I'm perfectly fine where I am and we'll see what happens. Um, I, I guess next week, like I said, I'll be focusing on the footage that I've been gathering um, for my writing vlog. That'll be interesting. So anyway, this is the first reading vlog of 2024 and so far so good um i uh, would love to know how things are going with you guys are you able to find time to read are you you know sprinkling it in there do you have a dedicated time to read i would love to know that if reading isn't really your thing is there anything that you think that could make you um at least try to make reading part of your life i'm very curious about that because i have heard a lot of people tell me that they just don't read. I mean, and, and I'm very, I'm trying very hard not to be judgmental about that. I don't think that everyone has to read at the level that I do. And the level that I read is actually a joke to some people who read th three, four times as much as I do. But the idea is, is I feel like we shouldn't take our literacy, literacy for granted. We should be reading something, you know, and that's different for everybody. Maybe reading books isn't your thing, but maybe you're an avid vlog reader, a uh, vlog, <laughs> blog reader, you know, maybe you read magazines. I know my dad reads Reader's Digest, you know, so I mean, like, you can read whatever you want, but I'm just curious, you know, have you figured out a way to make reading part of your healthy lifestyle? And if not, let's see if we can come up with some ideas for you. Um, I think people should read whatever appeals to them. Don't feel like you have to read what someone else is telling you to read. Find something that you have an interest in and read that. Anyway, <laughs> we got a whole year of reading to talk about. So let me wrap this up. Um, guys, please uh, stay safe and be blessed. Hey, if you like what you see, subscribe to the channel. Give it a like and also leave me a comment. I would love that. Okay, bye.